today we are going to learn how to sew decorative sequins onto our holiday craft projects. Sort of like this one. Join me, won't you? Hi, welcome to another Mumsy video. Today we're going to do something that I actually just learned how to do. Um, I've been sewing since I was like 12, so you'd think I would know how to do this. Like, I just turned 42 on Saturday and I did not know how to sew this decorative sequence onto craft projects. You know, I've gotten, I've I bought this years ago and I put it in this little container. You know all these pretty little sequins like there's leaves and shells and all this stuff. Some of them have two holes so you can sew them on like buttons. But these ones like the little flowers and snowflakes and such. Can you see that they're so 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 tiny. Have one hole and I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to do it so it's not like a button right so uh, I am working on an advent calendar quilt piece here I'll show you oh, oh, let's see how oh, this is working can you kind of see and those of you who watch my channel on the regular uh, know that I can't just leave it as a nice quilt piece with some quilting on it you know I've got to make it like mumsy right so I decided to add all this colorful sequins onto you'll see uh, the wallpaper on this advent calendar has uh, green circles and red diamonds so I thought I would add the corresponding shape of sequins to it but I didn't know how. I thought, oh, you can't really glue it on. That would look silly. And then you can wash it and things like that. So what am I going to do? And then I was working on um, the ornaments I ordered from Hirschner's. Uh, a few videos back, I showed you that I ordered a bunch of Christmas uh, craft decorations and it showed me how to sew on sequins. So I'm going to share that simple task with you and you can comment below with all the I already knew that kind of stuff because I'm sure you probably did already know this. But for those of you who are like me and have been sewing for 30 years and just figured this out like recently, this video is for you. All right, so we're going to start with, of course, we need some sequins. We'll need some sort of project you want to work on. Uh, I like to add bling to everything, so any project will do for me, basically. Um, you'll also need little seed beads. That's the trick. That's the way it goes. Anyway, uh, seed beads and let's hope I didn't drop this. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I have to find, but you'll need a beading needle. It's just a tiny, really thin needle and some thread, of course, and oh, there it is. Ha! Huh. Tiny, tiny little needle and scissors. And then we'll get started and I'll show you how it's done next. Okay, so threading a beading needle is a lesson in patience, let me tell you, especially when you're as blind as Mumsy is. But what we want to do is thread our little needle here and tie a knot on the end. And we're gonna select our project and the colors that we want. I have a few here, so I've you've seen that I've sewn some of these already. And we're gonna sew more by from the back. Oops, bump the camera, why don't I? From the back, we're going to thread it up right kind of in the middle of where I want that red one to go. Then we're going to find our sequins. And believe me, the smaller it is, the more difficult it is to work with, that's for sure. 
but it has a little hole in the center. So you want to thread that down right there. And then what we're going to do is take a seed bead. I've been using uh, white and gold ones and we'll, or kind of clearish ones. And that's why we need the beading needle. And we're going to put it all the way through like that. And can you see it's layered there? Then we're just going to not go through the bead. We're going to go around the bead and back through the center of that sequence. And voila! Can you believe it? That's all there is to it? I just, I don't know why I never learned this. So we're going to go on to the next one just to show you again. I'm going to do a little green one next. So I'm just going to keep the same thread and keep going. So we're going to, oh, this one's even tinier, the little circle dot sequence in green here. And there we go. And we're going to select a little seed bead right here. And we're going to wind that right down too. And instead of going through the center of the bead, we're just going to go, you can see the bead is kind of on the thread there. Oh, so hard to see and my lighting is just terrible, but I hope you can see. Anyway, from the explanation, it should be easy enough. And there we go. And I am going to decorate this whole thing with sequins. I'm going to finish up the wall here. And then I think I'm going to take some of these big, look at these. Aren't these fantastic? These big sequins and put them in the place of the Christmas balls. There's also little um, knobs on the dresser there and dots on the giraffe. There's so many things. Oh, even the clown has polka dots over here and the puppy. I'm going to have so many things I can decorate on this advent calendar. Isn't it fantastic? Okay, I was going to show you the end result of all that sequence I was uh, sewing on. So come with me. I actually ended up putting the advent calendar in the hallway here. Bad lighting, I know. <laughs> but hopefully you can see that I've sewn several hundred pieces of sequins on this thing. All along there, all the way down the tree. It's kind of an I spy sort of advent calendar. And I actually got it up for December 1st, even though the uh, video is a little bit later than that. <laughs> I apologize for that. Anyway, um, it doesn't really matter because it's not a time sensitive craft. It's a little extra craft to show you how to sew on sequins to Christmas crafts or wedding crafts or Thanksgiving crafts, Easter, whatever you are working on. Um, I didn't know about it. I didn't know how to sew that on. I just thought you had to glue it on. Anyway, so there's the lovely, oh, let's see if I can get myself in there. There's the lovely advent calendar, I spy kind of advent calendar. And uh, good luck with any projects that you do. Uh, if you knew about this, how to sew sequence on before, let me know. Um, if you didn't, let me know. Uh, <laughs> Also, uh, comment below, like, subscribe. Uh, this is just a short one for today, but I think it's kind of a handy little thing to know. So, bye-bye uh, for now.